Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are jumping back with our T Kenter series. And this time we are handling multi key and multi binding uh, action actions for um, buttons with T Kenter. So, all right, when I say multi key, pressing and holding more than one key at a time and more than one way to uh, achieve that. So I foreshadowed last time that th the button click, but the return does not. I mean, we everybody is now used to being able to move through that, and if it has the dotted line, depress that. So we need to be able to do that. So let's just go ahead and get started. And all right, cool. So it's just this simple button dot bind. And since it is, oops, wrong way, return, and close this out, and press. It's literally that simple. So I have more than one, more than one button press action that will work. So let's run this again. So I'll bring this over here, I press it, and just take my word for it, I'm pressing the enter key, and it is working. So now, now I'm gonna show you how to handle more than one, more than one key at a time. So all right, let's do one that is normal, control, and this is L, capital L, all right. Now this is what's weird. All right, they touch, okay? They literally touch. Let's get this out of here so you can see. That's an underscore. All right, this is an underscore. That's control for any control key, either control key. So all right, let's run this again. Okay, press. Enter. Now I'm going to go Control E. Just like that. And then we exit and yes. So there we go. That is a way. So if you're going to want to have more than one way, you have to more, have more than one bind. And then also, if you want multi keys for actions, you have them, you have the keys touch each other in the string and that is how you do this i remember the first time i saw this i thought this was the coolest thing ever so you can have uh shortcuts you can have easter eggs all all of these type of things so there we go guys please drop any comments questions any video requests below and i'll get right to them you guys have had some really awesome questions and a ton of awesome support so i want to just say thank you for a second so as always, thanks for watching, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.